Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 16 Hostel League quarterfinal. I decided to refer to it to the quarterfinal rather than the round of eight, just because it feels like whenever the word final is in there, it's kind of lofted in, but for whatever reason, people perk up and pay a little bit more attention. Getting towards the latter stages of this tournament, 12 o'clock location, we have Exodia, aka Ninja. Bottom right hand corner, we have Terran Low, aka Locosito, starting as the blue Terran. This is going to be on Neo Sylphid, game one. If you did not catch it, uh, went to Locosito in a very aggressive back and forth, well, really a, a little bit of back and forth, but primarily positioning and Vulture Micro winning the game for Locosito, which is kind of what I was anticipating in the previous match. And I'm wondering if that is just going to be the story of all three games in this, well, could go to five. I don't want to call it a 3-0 yet, um, but I could see basically a repeat pattern from Locosito basically being able to go for three factory Vulture and more or less getting the, the Vulture micro advantage and playing from there. Mostly his micromanagement has been very, very sharp, in particular in TVT with, uh, with the Vulture micro in particular. And it's not Ninja. I, I don't want to say Ninja's bad, but I feel, I, I feel like Ninja's strengths have relied more on um, some solid macro things like that not as much as uh, the early game micro engagements vulture to vulture so we'll see if that holds to be true if i have a good fix it's very possible i don't looks like we are seeing a refinery opener no refinery sorry a refinery a little bit later which might mean a little bit more resources in the pocket here for ninja it looks like he was able to squeeze out an additional scv and every little bit of resource counts. I don't know how much mineral boosting is a factor at this stage, but honestly, I wouldn't put anything past these guys. The barracks is being constructed more, kind of an odd positioning of the barracks for Locosito. He's keeping it to the rear, maybe to trick a scout that if it entered the base, maybe would think that we were seeing a faster command center. Initial SCV is making its way to bottom right-hand corner first. That will give a direction for the barracks to head initially for early scouting, but this could also be a problem Looks like there is a, an additional marine, an initial marine being constructed, but this could also be a problem later because this is going to have a much later scouting position once that barracks decides to lift off. We are seeing a factory on both sides of the map. Supply depot towards the front to create a blockade potentially. Locosito finding the bottom left-hand corner empty. The initial, so yeah, I don't know about this positioning. The barracks is still bottom right, but only a single marine has been produced and that marine reveals itself so that SCV absolutely knows that yeah there's a there's a barracks out here someplace second marine being constructed let's see if it yeah it's just kind of I'm curious what the logic of that positioning was maybe he just didn't realize where he was on the map but that's not going to be a game ender or anything but it is going to be a slight advantage to ninja to start as you can see that barracks is already floating out and should be able to provide some decent scouting information much, much earlier. Additionally, he's able to shut down that scout from Locosito, that SCV not able to get towards the front lines. First Vulture on the way for Ninja. First Vulture on the way opposite side. Second factory has been plopped down. And we're seeing a Starport. Oh, double Starport. So he is going to try to hard counter with some Wraith play. And we'll see if Locosito sniffs it out if he drops an armory in time to get some sufficient anti here. Now the thing is, is if you, it's a very risky build here. I like the <laughs> CV sneakily out in position. I'm not sure if that was in view of Marine uh, of the S scouting SCV or not. Looks like the Marines and the Vulture are making their way out. Marines heading their way back. The Vulture out to the corner as well. So not in position to engage Ninja midfield as he's moving out. The barracks floating across each other and you can see how late the uh, see and this is where that barracks if it was floated much much earlier it would have been able to catch the starports much sooner or the factory count potentially much earlier two vultures making the way across if they can shove their way in that would be a huge boon Ooh, the marines exposed and they need to be part of this attack force to make sure the numbers are even this could be critical as well that ninja engages i think he got first shot the vulture scooting to the rear the marines able to chase and get an additional damage, but this is where Locosito shines in these small engagements up a full Vulture and two Marines after having equal troops. And now that front door getting sealed with additional barracks, that's got to give a signal to Locosito that something's up. Let's see, he has dropped an armory and two Goliaths being built, noticing that that front door is sealed. So sniffed it out. 
incredible after that last engagement. However, Wraith are on the way. Thing is, is cloaking is not there. A lot of damage has been done on the front. The Vultures starting to try to chew up that front. Control tower being dropped. But with these initial Goliaths being constructed as these Wraith are cycling in, Locosito with the perfect response. And really, I feel like, again, it came down to that early game micromanagement. If Ninja had lost those troops, he might not have had an indication of what was happening. And so Locosito able to get at least one SCV here, but these Wraith gonna eat massive amounts of damage now. Yeah, second one gone. That does They do give a very minimal amount of map control otherwise, but the Vultures on the front I've done a lot of damage. The Wraith gonna push out and try to, it looks like they were able to pick off a Vulture right there, but usually the goal of this build is to pick up enough SCVs that you end up with an economic advantage down the line. It looks like Ninja at least getting some bonus, able to pull back the Wraith to take care of the Vultures on the front. But you can see Locosito up a full three workers here, now off the single base, and he does have the option once the second pair of Goliath come out to go ahead and grab his natural expansion, or he can press it. now. Looks like he's going to press it. This might be a mistake from Locosito. It looks like a second Wraith moving out. Cloaking is being upgraded. He's not going to have any detection for a bit. Looks like the Academy researching. More Goliath being a build as well. They're going to attack the front. Granted, there's no Siege Tank out yet, but the wall, I believe, is going to hold to allow that first Siege Tank to be constructed. The Goliath moving in, if there's some group repair, should be sufficient to deal with these two Wraith. Still up a plenty of workers. But... I feel like the better play might have been just to go ahead and grab that natural expansion and get that economic lead from there while denying the, op uh, the natural expansion opposite side. With enough bulk, they could take out that siege tank. Now cloaking is in place and the Wraith can dodge in and out and maybe pick off some additional SCV. However, you can see the SCV count has been damaged and the Goliaths have breached. So it's siege tanks and SCV off the line, hurting Ninja's economy even further while the Wraith are pounding away at the line with what cloak they have. The SCV is getting pinned in, ooh, not on attack move. So it looks like those Goliaths are gonna get wiped out. An additional supply depot to go ahead and seal in the front. Ninja down to just 12 workers, however. A Marine got in as well somehow. The SCV count is dwindling, but the thing is, is Wraith do so little damage to ground. It just takes an incredible amount of time. So you really need to catch your opponent off guard with that build. And that supply depot looks like it is gonna collapse. It's gonna allow the two Goliaths to enter back in Another siege tank is there. It looks like a wraith to support potentially with cloaking as well, but Ninja just limping in the resources, nothing mining now. And that Marine was still alive somehow. It looks like he's finally gonna get picked off by that siege tank. And the Goliaths have dropped the SCV count to seven and able to pick off yet another wraith. The wraith have died in the meantime at the main and more Goliaths are marching forward and it looks like Loco Cedar just going to rely on overwhelming troops. That's what happened. Barracks landed. I missed this. The barracks landing in the base. Ninja calling GG right there. Excellent play from Loco Cedar, top to bottom, with the anticipation really showing sharp reaction and pulling out another victory. We're going to move on to game three. It could be a shutout here, the way it's looking. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like and subscribe. As always, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for listening.